Oh dear. Well, I only really told Joe that I was mowing the lawn yesterday and now that's happened. I'm thinking it's about time that we get stuck back in some garden projects, some landscaping stuff and maybe some construction work. So stick around and I'll show you what I've got planned. So while the main project I'm getting stuck into is over that side, which you missed out on because I just had to get stuck into it. I took a before, here's a before photo anyway of that section. So I managed to cut all that back yesterday and now it's clearance day, clear it all out, chip a load, burn a load, and hopefully we can get a bit of a blank canvas there. But on with the job in hand, this is what we're tackling today. So the before photo is this. Yesterday I managed to make a start and I cut everything back and now it's just pretty much everywhere. Uh, it was just, about 80% brambles. Now the last thing I want to do is start cutting out hedges for no reason. But we were talking about over two meters of space here which we couldn't use in the garden. It was a mess as far as it didn't look that neat. And while I like a little bit of a wild side to the garden, we've got a couple of other hedges which we've left in and they'll always be there. So they'll be there for wildlife reasons. There is a bit of a sparrow uh, hangout down here, but I've checked it thoroughly and as I've been going through I've been checking for nests and that's one reason why I didn't do it last month um, and I put it off actually last year for a similar reason but I haven't spotted anything there there's an old pigeon nest and there's the uh, collared doves which have already hatched and gone there was actually quite a bit of space between where the hedge stopped and the wall so there was complete waste space back here but of course that's left us with what is pretty much an ugly concrete wall which is no good so my plan is to to do a form of nice timber cladding on here and then we could potentially plant some either ornamental climbers or we could do some fruit trees down here and have them on cordons or something like that but there'll be there'll be a way of getting around the fact that we've got a big gray concrete wall here down here all the hard work's been done apart from there is one old tree left in and the tree itself is barely alive and what is is just it's just ivy uh, and it's almost become a tree itself so that's no good we'll just take out the whole lot and then we in its place we'll put a more ornamental tree that we can keep on top of a little shredder is no good for brambles and i don't really want a load of chopped up brambles lying around for little feet because these two don't really wear shoes that much so what i'm going to do is burn the brambles and the horrible stuff and then all of the branchy, sticky stuff, I'll try and mulch down with the uh, with the old shredder. Well, there's a little bit of life at the top of this tree. It is literally being strangled alive. Right, you can see at the end of my saw, it's just all ivy. This is the original tree with the flaky bark. And then everything with the little feet on has just strangled it off. So a lot of this was just dead wood. Ah, it's a bit of a shame. Do you know what, there might even be a tree inside there. All right, so the tree is more bramble and ivy and holly than 
tree itself, but I reckon it's got potential. We'll keep going and see what we end up with. Well, here's the update. Endless amounts of stuff to get through. Even the shredder is going to take a while on that. Uh, so I need to pick and choose what I decide to shred and burn. And then this is what we've ended up with. Rather straggly bottom to it, but there is a bit of life up there. So I'm hoping, and the sparrows have moved back in already. Uh, so I'm hoping that it'll start bushing out our side and that I can just take the tops out of it in the autumn down a bit further although I need to get all the brush out below it I've left in that little bit of laurel which came from somewhere and there's a holly tree in the back there which I've taken all the lower branches off because all of this is gonna be barked and go down to a play area although that bit might be a surprise so don't tell them and then although it's the wrong time of year I've taken out a couple of big limbs or medium-sized limbs out in the middle of that tree this apple tree is an old one barely produces much fruit but for now it's fine. It's amazing that before here we lived in the middle of nowhere or in a village and we barely had any wild birds and then now we live right by a main road in a fairly built up area but there's just bird, I mean at any one time there's about 20 nests or so in the garden everything from wood pigeons, collared doves, blackbirds, sparrows in the big hedge and also in our loft and the last thing I want to do is take out all of the kind of wild areas of the garden so with that bit gone, I want to make sure that I leave the other side. So pretty standard uh, Leylandi sort of evergreen hedge at the bottom, which is fine and things come in and out of there. But actually this wall over here, which again is a concrete wall put in when this garden was split up in the 50s, under there is a concrete wall, but on top of it is just endless amounts of creeper and honeysuckle and lilies down the bottom. Uh, I wouldn't want to guess how much weight it's putting on the wall, but in there, there are just endless nests and uh, blackbirds, and then of course all the bees and insects up top. So uh, it's not all that bad to leave a bit of wild, but we definitely need to do something about that concrete wall. And there's lots of it. Oh dear. Well, I only really told Joe that I was mowing the lawn yesterday and now that's happened.
I ended up with three separate fires. I kind of started it in the middle and then sent it either way. Uh, that cleared out most of the stuff that was down here. It was about half ten by the time I finished, so it was pretty much dark. Um, but everything on the lawn I was just raking off and I've pretty much cleared everything now. So we've got a good chance to clear through the rest of this and we can, anything left, I think we can just put straight through the shredder. To be quite honest, I don't use the shredder that much. We bought it when we first moved in four years ago on eBay for 30 pounds and we use it about once a year, but it, it does work well and it's a really quiet shredder. It's more of a, it's kind of got a, a cutter like a cog almost and it just cuts against an anvil so it's a really slow motor that's just turning self feeds itself and you haven't got to worry about sharpening blades and really noisy machinery uh, i was doing it until quite late and it just kind of chews through it so we've got a load here and i'll just spread that out uh, for the time being around here and put a bit of goodness back into the soil that should give this tree a bit of a boost we've really gained some space it's two and a half meters at its widest point and it's 25 meters or even 30 meters in length so a huge amount of space down here it needs trimming right down to the soil level there's so much bindweed and all sorts going on in here that i'm just going to get it down to ground level then we'll put some heavy duty landscaping fabric down and that will all be barked ready for the play area I think that tree's going to be absolutely fine. I've already seen the sparrows in and out of it all day, so they weren't deterred. And then I guess the last thing is to get a grip of these apple trees again. Every year we take off endless amounts and it just comes straight back. Taking on a big garden like this at a house, half of the problem is, of course, the time to keep on top of it, which we struggle with. But the other thing is dealing with all the garden waste. I mean, there's simply no way it'll fit in a little wheelie bin to go out each week. And probably dealing with 15 or 20 carloads of material that I've got through yesterday. So the only option really is to have a shredder of some sort and bonfires. You know, apart from that, you'd just be trashing the car. You'd end up with a massive trailer all the time or you'd just have to let it go wild, which we're good at too. The next thing really that's gonna happen out in the garden, apart from some tidying up, which I'll do myself, you don't need to watch that, um, is gonna to be to make a start on our timber framing project. And the first project is a gazebo for my dad. And that's why I wanna make a start clearing that area and giving ourselves a really clean, decent workspace to start with. Then we can look at working on the side of that garden down and building that play area. But priorities, let's do that one first. I might even get a bit of pocket money from dad for doing that one and then that might fund that bit so let's uh, get stuck in lots more videos on the way thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time